Thank you, Brad, and thank you everyone for having me. This time last year, I was sitting in one of those seats, fumbling over the elevator pitch in my head. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of you are in that position right now, and probably just see my mouth moving, but don't even hear the words that are coming out. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's a lot more comfortable being on this side of the equation. The 2010 Rice Business Plan competition was the turning point for my company, Benowitz, when we made the leap from being an academic exercise to a legitimate startup. We entered the competition as a recycled backpack business, and we exited as an integrated green marketing firm. The judges helped us realize that we weren't selling products, we were selling a socially responsible lifestyle. So in the past year, we evolved, and we developed a unique marketing methodology that captures our approach, and it's a three-legged stool. One, we use game mechanics to influence behavior through fun and rewards. Two, we apply a green layer to give our programs a tangible purpose. Three, we leverage social media to engage our community and distribute our message. Individually, each of these forces is a megatrend. Taken together, we can inspire a new lifestyle and solve some of the world's greatest environmental problems. To illustrate our model in a microcosm, we created a little contest for the 2011 RBPC. On the back of this hang tag, you'll see there's a QR code. You scan this code with your smartphone, and it'll take you to a web page where you input your information, and on Saturday, we'll randomly select a winner who's going to receive $175 worth of free Bennu merchandise, all made from recycled materials. And if you don't have a smartphone, or you don't have a Facebook page, don't worry, you can go to the URL we provide, and you can use your son, your wife, your husband, your dog's Facebook ID. No problem. <laughs> I want to end by sharing a suggestion to all the competitors. Embrace the judge's criticism because it's the only way you'll get stronger. You should always listen to your harshest critics the most carefully. Last year we came in as a concept and we left as a company. Since my partners and I graduated in June, we dedicated ourselves full time to this venture because to us entrepreneurship is another word for freedom. The world doesn't need more entrepreneurs. These are people who are more excited about the idea of starting a business than actually making the sacrifices to execute. This competition is for real entrepreneurs. Real entrepreneurs are scrappy and resourceful. Real entrepreneurs follow through and make things happen. Real entrepreneurs understand that business is a war of attrition and they survive in the game until they win. That's the mission that we're on right now. That's the journey that lies ahead of you. I wish you all the best. Thank you for having me.